it's not for other people to say who you can be or what you can do, if you know what I mean. It's, it's for you to kind of take that into your own hands and, and prove it to yourself. First off, I mean, your guys' performance in this is incredible. I mean, both the energy from both your characters. Well, it's very oh, kind. It's a very, very easy acting alongside Jack. You made everything, everything effortless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it, Charlie. You're going to make me blush on Zoom. <laughs> from the moment we read the script and just seeing that relationship between the characters, it was... Uh, yeah. I'd, I'd love to take full credit, but I, I really can't with guys <laughs> writing. Uh, it was really a joy, and obviously working alongside Charlie was an absolute joy. <laughs> Jack won't take full credit, but uh, but I will. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. The, uh, the whole cast it. is amazing. Yeah. It was easy um, working with such such great actors, with with oh. a great script and a great director, and it just generally a great team. So you totally ditched me the other day. Didn't happen to have anything to do with that girl, did it? Because it seems to me like she's spoken for. Seems that way. The the kind of the gang plan of the uh, legendary end of school prank. I think it's something they want uh, they want people to be talking about for ten years. Like after, did either you pull any pranks just for the bands, or did you like get caught as well if you're doing them? No, I um, wish I was. I wish we were more badass in secondary school near the end. I'd like did more stuff. <laughs> no, I, I can't. I can't say that I was involved in any in any school pranks as such. Although I did once uh, attend the uh, school nativity play dressed as a as a Jedi. Um, that was far younger than, than high school. I was I was about seven or eight years old, and uh, I needed to find a wise man costume on the day. And uh, my mom and I thought it'd be funny if we we went dressed as Obi Wan Kenobi. So you had wise man, wise man, <laughs> Jedi, Mary, Joseph. <laughs> I was wondering what advice you'd give to Kai if you could at all at any point in the film, or possibly to Grace. Uh, don't don't worry so much. I think it would be would be my advice. You got mm -hmm. you got the rest of your life ahead of you, and and this is going to be very insignificant very soon. I think for me, uh, the advice I'd probably give Kai is know the difference between love and obsession. Um, especially at a young age when you find this first like this first feeling of like connection to someone or this like first feelings of attraction it's really really hard to like differentiate those two feelings you don't realize when you're that young that um, a lot of these things are just be going to become very very funny stories that you, you, you <laughs> tell to your friends and in the bar or or in an in an interview <laughs> um, <laughs> five years later. i remember i remember being absolutely devastatingly in love with this girl at, at school and um, and she once told me that I was like the uh, gay best friend that she wished was straight. Oh. And I was like, I am straight. <laughs> and she was like, nah, but you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, and I was always heartbroken, but now it's just, you know, it's just a fun story to tell. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, what's the kind of cringiest thing you ever did slash said? I used to get like extravagant Valentine's Day gifts and I look back and it's like, oh, I remember writing in a card to a girl in uh, in secondary school, I think it was like, if every time I thought of you, a star emerged, the moon would never be lonely. And at the time, thinking it was the smoothest thing you could ever put in a card. Now I look back and it's like, Jack, you're a doormat. You're laying on the floor and waiting to be walked all over. I, I remember the first time a girl ever said, I love you to me. I was like in primary school. She said, I love you. I said, I love you too, but don't use it against me. <laughs> I have no idea why. <laughs> <laughs> Not a clue. I also love the moment on the rooftop where Meg gets real and uh, kind of thanks the other guys for having his back. Uh, how did you guys create the chemistry between you guys and were there any bromances on set? I mean, between you two, it already seems like there is, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, so we were quite Charlie. lucky in that um, Guy, Guy, when we when we started shooting before we rehearsed, Guy sent all of us the the, the five of us to a, a music festival called Nodstock. So we went for the day, and they gave us like a budget just to go and get hammered with. And <laughs> just that whole week, and we sort of lived together while we were shooting, and we worked together every day. So it was like a, uh, I felt like it was a really, like a, quite an organic. Uh, sort of really like relationship that we built up. Yeah, I completely agree with everything Jack said, but equally, just in the way that the characters were written, um, they were so they were so relatable, or at least Sammy was so relatable to me. I I knew exactly who he was because he was literally me when I was when I was, you know, seventeen seventeen years old. I do remember that that Josh and I um, we spent quite a bit of time um, on our off days uh, in character. So we would go and sit in a cafe and we would talk in character about the lives of you know the um, the characters in, in in the film. 
What advice do you have for young creatives who aren't sure how to pursue their passions? For, uh, for me, the one, especially at the moment, the main piece of advice I give to people leaving college who want to go into like, the arts is that conventional training and going and going that route is is a sort of a great option and is very viable and um but it can obviously have its challenges it's very limited in numbers and it's a horrible process sometimes getting involved and if you aren't accepted into those institutions first time round or even second or third time round try and take matters into your own hands you know you can instead of saving to go traveling or saving to move out save and get a camera and start making your own work or or find other creative people around you and kind of just start making anything you can um, because, you know, like, it's not for other people to say who you can be or what you can do, if you know what I mean. It's, it's for you to kind of take that into your own hands and, and prove it to yourself. Just uh, work hard, generally, and um, don't worry, generally. You know, I think that a lot of people, um, there's, a, there's a good anecdote about, you know, if, if, you're, if you're standing at the foot of a mountain and uh, you want to get to the top, and all you can think about is why you're not at the top yet. You're not going to take a step, you know, but uh, you're only going to get to the top of the mountain through incremental steps. You know, if, if you're, let's say you're 16, you're, you're living in Stroud, funny enough, um, and you're thinking that you want to be a, you, you want to be a director, or you want to be an actor and you want to be living in London and all these things. And one year later, you're not there yet, you know, and, and you're beating yourself up and you're thinking, why have I not achieved it yet? Well, you know, it's not it's because you're not supposed to achieve it yet. You know, you've got to you've got to work hard. Again, generally, forgive yourself if you take a day off, and don't stress. As long as you do something, something small, every day, to to work towards your ambitions, then you will you will get there. Wherever you get, you'll you'll be confident and and happy and content. And whenever you're feeling down and you're and you're feeling like uh, everything's going against you and and nothing in the world is is right, then uh, there's a <clears throat> there's a great speech by Tim Minchin. Um, at, I think it's Arts Head. He's he's like an honorary graduate of Arts Head or something like that. And he gives a wonderful speech uh, that, and um, for any aspiring actors in particular, I would say go and go and give that a give that a watch on on YouTube because it it uh, it always makes me feel better at least. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being able to do this interview and just being able to find a bit uh, out a bit. Uh, about you guys and just the characters as well. Oh, thank you so You're much very, for having very us. Very welcome, so actually. Absolute pleasure. <laughs>